the meaning. So Jesus said, it's not for you to know. Are you with me? Let me find that scripture. It's not for you to know the times, that's chronos in Greek, and the seasons, that's kairos in Greek, which is held under God's authority. It means that in your life, you have chronos and kairos under God's authority. There's a major factor of timing consistent to the calendar of God that is part of kingdom architecture. You might be expecting a breakthrough in ministry and your expectation is not in synchrony with the calendar. Meanwhile, let me explain what Kairos and Kronos means. Because the journey of your life is according to the calendar, not according to your life, but according to a certain calendar that he says you do not know the dynamics of that calendar is not within your jurisdiction. It's, not, it's beyond your pay grade. I will explain. Are you with me? Alright. So, um, chronos, I know you know, that's where the word chronological came from. Are you, are you there? Yes. So, mommy is chronologically 60 years. How many of you went to boarding school? You did? Okay, you did. All right. So, Doc, when was the dining time for evening food? 6 p.m. So, that's Kairos. In the chronological time, we have windows of opportune time. That's what Kairos means. Chronos is chronological time. And within the Chronos, we have some windows of opportune times. Hi. You are not with me. Okay, see, demons will not attack you in Kronos. They will attack you in Kairos when it is an opportune time. Then all the demons will show. So when you begin to see attacks, when you begin to see depression, confusion, it is because you are approaching Kairos moment. Hallelujah. That's why demons are interested, trying to weigh you down so that they can manipulate you out of that season. The moment you are manipulated, and that is no longer in view, the attack will. Cities have Kronos and Kairos. Men have Kronos and Kairos. So the deliverance of nations is within a calendar. The upliftment of functionaries who becomes a voice is in a calendar. Because it is beyond the scope of your knowledge, the only thing you can bring to the table that will make you eligible at the time is called faithfulness. It's called what? Those people that are attending to the business of God and they don't need to be supervised because they know this is service unto God. God will be checking. And then when that Kairos moment opens up for your life, hallelujah, no man can stop your rising. There is really no formula to success other than faithfulness. Mm. Get that one. Mm. <laughs> it is what? Faithfulness. Whenever you see that the devil is beginning to discourage you, Oh, why am I like this? I'm, I've been doing my best, but I'm on the same level. You are approaching your Kairos season. Do you remember that scripture? He said, I will restore the years that the caterpillar, that the canker worm, that the palmer worm has eaten. The last time I checked, locusts eat grass. But these ones, years. So there are several demons put in place that their specialty is to manipulate you so that the years can be. Because they know that your life is structured according to God's calendar, not according to your own calendar. It's not for you to know. 
Have you been trusting God for marital breakthrough? It's in a calendar. It's scheduled. And Satan will ensure that before that time comes, you will fall in love with an allergy. <laughs> God forbid. <laughs> oh! Oh, you, you are not with me. You are not with me. You are not with me. Your destiny is stretched out in a calendar that you don't have the authority to know. So if at any point in time your faithfulness to Jesus begins to do in do, it means you are making yourself disqualified from, for your own destiny. And what Satan will do is that he will eat years and you will be on the same spot. You get it? It's not for you to know. The Kronos and the Kairos which God has set in his own authority that's the second thing he told them in the school there is a timing that you cannot control you are doing well you are pressing there are dimensions of power that will not open until the calendar time comes do you know how much i sought power hey, you don't you don't understand it. when i tell you that you are doing very well believe me believe me suddenly the, the, what you will do that will expose you to the whole world is will be what you have always been doing it's not another new thing don't become creative it's just that the time has come in the calendar and god will send angels with chauffeurs to announce you that's what that's how it happened i saw the angels what with the chauffeurs those ones they come when it is time then they blow they blew over the city so the time of the remembrance of Makodi is now. It's not for you to know the times or the seasons which God has set in his own authority. Then the last thing he told them was that ye shall receive power to prosecute kingdom business. He gives you an equipment. An equipment that demons will recognize and know that one that is chattered like Luke has been let loose and a new regime of possibilities begins to find expression the things that were locked before he receives authority to be able to open them the things that were dead he can bring them back to life a new civilization breaks out because one man decided to pay the price to be faithful and to align with his appointed time in the calendar of God. You know what? It is you I'm preaching to. All this message. Because the time comes upon you. And God will make your voice to be heard. Not because you are doing any new thing, but you are doing the things you have always done. The season you've been trusting God for has come in your ministry oh there's an alarm signal like the kind of signal that went forth on the day of Pentecost he said there was a rushing we check it in the Greek he says there was an alarm just like Joel chapter 2 he said blow the trumpet in Zion he says sound an alarm when a son when a sun is chattered, there is an alarm signal that blares in the heavens to announce his rising. It means there's going to be a hard time for demons. There's going to be a hard time for devils. No, the terrain can no longer be quiet. There, there's, there's a noise that is stirred up, which is occasioned by the arrival of a sun. So the people of Zabulon, the people of Naphtali, the people that sit in the darkness. He said, Unto them has a light shine. You see, what came to bring them deliverance was not from among them, it, it was a sun that came into their territory, and their season received their cities received visitations, their bondages were overturned 
just because a man came into their territory so the visitation of cities is tied to the arrival of certain chattered people that god has bestowed grace you labor this is the time let us pray Your name is ever great. You are the wisdom before time began. You reign forever. Your name is ever great. You are the wisdom before time began. He said there is a demand that is on the teaching grace that is upon your life. That if you are willing to teach them, he will bring the people. If you, if you are willing to teach them, he said he will bring the people. He will bring him. He will bring the people. For your name is being announced in Zion. Your name, there is an alarm signal that has come forth in your honor. Just like it was on the day of Pentecost. There is an announcement. There is an announcement. There is a proclamation. There's a proclamation in the spirit. If you are baptized in the Holy Ghost, it's time to speak in tongues. Setomeni akindo boroske. Braske so seko binda manakure babata. For it is not for you to know. You are the before time You reign forever Your name is You are the wisdom The time has come. There are chronic sinners that God will bring. People that have terrible past. And the Lord will be counting on you for a renovation to take place. An announcement has gone forth about the city of Makoti. And there are functionaries that God will can trust. That he will announce. Hey, Sani Kopatwa, Shemino Seketali, Omberamo Siko Presko Belai, Takope Dekosi, Mando Presko Felantes Kiko Kokoto, My Skobeli, Isamina Kopre, Kabo Sama Sale Kuria. Media compre, suke patana papote maske. Masa compre, get a voice. And thy gates shall be opened continually. Because it will bring unto you the forces of the Gentiles. Finances and funding will come in miraculous ways to push the agenda of God. 
I sit. There are three um, intercessors that I see and three crowns upon them. And the Lord wants to encourage you. And the way he chooses to encourage you is to increase the anointing that is upon your life so that you can be more effective. You can be more accurate. This anointing that will come upon these three intercessors is to equip you so that as you are praying, You'll be seeing what your prayer is doing. So upon you will come the grace of a seer. So that when you pray, you see what your prayer is doing. And there are three of you in this congregation. And the hand of God will come upon you very strong this morning. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I ask that you put your hands on the intercessors. And let there be grace. Let there be grace. Let there be capacity. Let there be blessing upon these ones that have been laboring give them sight sight in the spirit sight in the spirit the sight of the seer so that as they pray they will be able to look upon that which you are doing give them sight so much sight so much clarity in the spirit so that they can see what you do they can see what you are doing they can see what they are doing they can see what you are doing, oh God. Thank you, Father.
when that season comes, we need find faith. We need find you still at your duty post. It's a season of visitation. But the issue is this when he comes, we need find faith. I don't know if somebody can hear the voice of the Lord clearly. There's no provision for discouragement. There's no room for discouragement. No room. Uh -huh. He will throw things at you. The devil will throw things at you. He want to discourage you through people, through circumstances. Somebody receive grace for faithfulness. Sopia de 